Hey everybody, it's great to be today virtually meeting all of you and thank you for joining this event. Um, my name is Maurizio Zaglio. I'm currently the International Business Development Manager at Sunamp. And in the next 10 minutes, I will introduce you to our, to our technology and our role in the project. Uh, Sunamp, it's uh, all about advanced thermal energy storage systems. And in particular, what I'm going to present to you is our main innovation to date, which, which are the heat batteries. So thermal storage system based on phase change materials. And uh, for those of you who, who doesn't who don't know what PCM is, I will uh, uh, explain in a moment. Uh, the company uh, was founded in 2005 in, in Edinburgh. Uh, it has some subsidiaries around the world and it focuses on the full development of the technology that we sell. Today we employ about uh, 60 people and uh, we are in the manufacturing of, of our technology as well and the factory is just in front of our main office and uh, uh, right outside Edinburgh. Um, we also have uh, international partnership with various companies who are offering uh, this technology under their names or under our own names um, through resale and distribution uh, contracts. Uh, Sunamp is active in four main fields, the residential one, uh, with direct sales to the end customers, especially in the UK, our home market. The automotive one, where we focus uh, to enhance the performance of both in the, in, internal combustion engines and electric vehicles with our storage technology. OEMs, where again, we mainly work through partnership on the international stage with various, with various companies and key players and the last commercial and industrial where we focus on large scales of, of uh, systems. In, uh, in, the, in this Heat for Cool project, uh, we are mainly responsible for delivering the, um, the phase change material thermal storage and to integrate it to the other components of the system, uh, in particular, the, the heat pump and I have a slide about that as well. And um, this means that over the project, we have actually modified and adapted and improved and optimized the design of our storage and uh, uh, the integration of our storage to the heat pump in order to um, meet those requirements that have been listed by Paolo before in the previous presentation. We are also supporting the installation and commissioning into the trial sites, as well as uh, various tasks in other work packages going from the dimensioning to the modeling and simulation, dissemination activities, and so on and so forth. As I say, the core of our technology and, and the big innovation is the phase change material. Uh, for those of you that are, are not, um, have not worked with PCM before, those are chemical formulations that can absorb, store and release uh, a large amount of thermal energy by changing phase, which uh, can be by melting and freezing and or by changing the, 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 the crystallization structure of, of the material. And, um, and it is integrated in an architecture, in a structure and uh, in a product that is then used to provide useful heating and cooling to the building in, as our focus is around the residential applications. So in these schematics at the bottom left, you really see what, how, how it compares with water. So on the X axis, you have the temperature on the y-axis, you have the energy density. And you can see that a PCM, as compared to water, really uh, is really beneficial when it goes above the melting point. A very common material that we use is as a melting point of 58 degrees. So it is solid below that, liquid above. And by melting and freezing, it can really uh, store um, a large amount of heat. 
and then release it to the heat transfer fluid, usually water, to heat up the building or to provide hot water. Um, we are expert in PCN, but we do not sell PCN. We sell the full product, the final product ready to be installed, which of course is not does not only contain the PCN. The PCM on the top left of these slides is included and it provides the large energy density. We also have uh, worked a lot on the mean to rapidly exchange this heat to the water, to the heat transfer fluid. So there is a powerful heat exchanger in there. Um, efficiency is our top priority and we use very effective vacuum insulation panels in our technology to reduce the heat losses. We have of course electronics and sensors to control the charging site and the integration to the other um, sources and sink of heat in the building. And the same technology can be provided with or without integrated heating elements uh, when they are present, of course, the benefit is that we can convert electricity into heat directly into our storage technology. And uh, you can see here uh, in a picture what is the real benefit of this technology, which is the compactness. And you see here on the left, a standard water-based uh, storage technology, water heater. And on the right, you see the equivalent product from Sanam that can provide the same amount of heat and hot water as the tank on the left. And apart from this, I have listed here on, on the right the, the, the main benefits compared to water-based technology. I would like to highlight in this presentation the negli negligible legionella risk because actually the amount of water into our technology is very small and just in the heat exchanger because water is not the storage medium. And uh, secondly, um, it doesn't require all the maintenance and servicing that is required by unvented cylinders that, as you know, can become quite, quite can become quite dangerous should you lose control of the heaters into the water. Uh, again, this is just uh, the same comparison with a commercial water tank with the real numbers stick, uh, attached to it. And you can see that in order uh, to provide the same amount of hot water, we are, we are 70, slightly more than 70% more compact than this water tank. And the big advantage I've already mentioned that is also the compactness of the technologies and we our heat losses are two to three times lower than, than the, uh, comparable water tanks. I would also like to highlight here that um, we have received recently received the RAW quality mark from the uh, German association RAW that uh, certify that our technology can and our PCM based technology can uh, achieve and exceed 10,000 cycles with minimum degradation. And this is and we, Sana was the first company worldwide to receive this mark A from RAW. Uh, we have a standard line of products. Um, we have used various in this project, uh, going from Unique 3 to Unique 80, mainly used for industrial and commercial applications. And uh, you can see in the table below that the storage capacity ranges from about 3.5 to 90 for the biggest product. And you can see also the, therefore the equivalency to water-based technologies uh, ranging from about water tanks of 70 liters up to almost 2000 liters of equivalent um, water tank and cap capacity, storage capacity. Uh, these are the boundaries for the project. Uh, these technologies, this storage technology can be recharged and discharged in multiple ways through a, an external thermal source like the heat pump that we use in the project or with direct electricity, for example, from PV and or from grid electricity. Uh, the red dotted boundary somehow describe what is included in the heat for cool system. So we have a heat pump to recharge the storage. The heat pump is partially driven by the PV uh, electricity, and then it is discharged to provide hot water, space heating and space cooling to the building. 
And this is a picture of the technology that we have installed in one trial site. So this is a, a very advanced heat pump technology that we have developed and that, um, in close partnership with a French company called Viofem that deeply integrate, as you see at the bottom pictures, our, our storage technology. So the, the red boxes down there act, uh, are actually for, uh, our heat batteries. And plus, uh, wherever it is required, we have increased the storage capacity in the building by adding additional external heat batteries to reach the storage capacity of heating and cooling uh, relevant to satisfy the loads from the building. And uh, this uh, was just a brief overview and summary of our technology and our role in the building. I look forward to your questions at the end of the event but also feel free, please, to contact me uh, whenever you want to discuss more in the next days, weeks. Thank you very much.